Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and today I'm going to show you how to recreate the Gotham Effect. The Gotham Effect was one of the many filters that you could find in the popular iPhone app, Instagram. Recently, when they updated it to 2.0, the Gotham filter was nowhere to be found. So I decided to recreate the filter in Photoshop so that you can follow these steps and continue to achieve that look on your photos. The first step you want to go to is Image, Image Size. Now the effect is on a 612 by 612 pixel canvas and your image is most likely larger than that. So with constrained proportions on, you want to lower one of the dimensions so that either the height or the width are both above 612. Now file new, we're going to make a new canvas to create the Gotham effect. And for the width, you want 612 pixels and 612 pixels for the height as well. Now it automatically gave us a white background but we want a black one to create the border. So go to image adjustments invert or command I. Now you want to go to command R or view rulers to bring up your ruler tool. Click and drag on the white part to bring out a guide. The guide should snap to the center of your layer, and now you can pinpoint the exact middle. This is going to help when you select your shape tool, hold it down, and select rounded rectangle. Hold shift and drag in your rectangle, and move it along the guides until it snaps in the center. You'll feel it. And if you want to hide those now, Command H and Command R will hide them. Remember the shortcuts, these are under view, extras for the guides, and view rulers. Make sure snap is on. And right click on the shape and go to blending options and check inner glow. Set the blend mode to normal, the color to black, size at 70 pixels, and the range at 70%. Turn the opacity down to 50 percent and select OK. Now that you've set that up, go ahead and return to your original file and drag the layer onto your new project. Now you can see why you wanted it to be greater than 612 pixels. So if your image was smaller than that, it's not really going to work. and we're going to create a clipping mask which is under layer create clipping mask or option command G now our layer is only within the bounds of that shape layer I've done a tutorial on clipping masks so I will link that at the end now create a new adjustment layer black and white and create another new adjustment layer curves under the where it says RGB select blue and we're gonna make three dots click once in the middle click on that point and drag it to the middle of that line and click on that corner and drag it to the middle of that line this should give you a slight blue and yellow tint now set the blending mode of the curves layer to hard light and this gives you the typical dramatic Gotham colors but to add some final touches, duplicate your original picture, go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. With the angle at 0 and the distance at 250 pixels, select OK. And set this layer on screen. Now these light leaks that we've just created are too powerful at 100%, so lower the opacity to about 50 or lower, depending on your picture. Now that we've created some light leaks, we're going to add one final step of some noise. So go to Filter, Noise. 11% is too much noise, so bring it down to about 5% or lower, depending on how you like it. Distribution, Uniform, and Monochromatic. There you have your final Instagram Gotham effect. I'll leave a link to the downloadable Photoshop document in the description bar 
so you can use this template on your own pictures or see how I did it. As always, if you enjoyed this tutorial, check out my channel for more, and if you're not subscribed by now, go ahead and subscribe for future tutorials.